This picture proving to be a royal headache for Kate Middleton, Princess of Wales. The photo, her first since undergoing surgery in January, was released on Sunday to celebrate the country's Mother's Day and also ease concerns about Kate's prolonged public absence. But several major news agencies abruptly retracted the photo because the image was manipulated. Well, today Middleton issued an apology reading, like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion and the family photograph that we shared yesterday caused. All right, joining us now to discuss the controversy is Mike Riley. He's a UIC senior lecturer and the trainer in the RTNDA Google election fact checking program. Mike, thanks for being with us. Appreciate it. What exactly is doctored in this picture? A lot of people are looking at it and saying, mm -hmm. what is so funny and why is it controversial? Yeah, it's, uh, uh, I'll answer the second part of that question first because it's controversial mainly because of who is sharing the photo. Uh, now, if you're a parent in the Chicago suburbs and you're shooting pictures of your family and maybe you're running it through an Instagram filter or doctoring it a little bit in the new Photoshop AI tools and you're sending it out on your Facebook page or Instagram page, no big deal. Uh, but when you're the Princess of Wales and you're handing this to your PR people and they're sending it out all over the internet, uh, and to global news agencies that are speaking truth to power, um, we're beholden to a different standard in the news media. Uh, the RTDNA Code of Ethics, uh, the National Press Photographers right. Association Code of Ethics, uh, those are very, very important. But when you look at those uh, uh, photos, uh, Kate's uh, right hand uh, around Louis's waist uh, is one of the big clues. Um, and you could blow this up in Photoshop and actually get down to the pixel level, those little points of light. Mm -hmm. Her hand is very out of focus and very, very, very blurry. That's one of the big clues right there. Also, the uh, blurry area right under uh, uh, Princess Charlotte's uh, right leg uh, goes from in focus to out of focus very quickly. And right around that zipper area that you have highlighted too, uh, her uh, uh, the zipper and the hair are a little bit off. And when you get down to the fine parts of it, you can see uh, Charlotte's left hand too, uh, the pattern changes a little bit on her sweater. Um, so Kate's known for being a really good photographer. She shoots really great candidates of her family and they're shared with the news media all the time. So right. when you see a photo like this that's been doctored, you're gonna raise an eyebrow or two. So that's where the controversy lies. And it's something that I talk about in my trainings in newsrooms and journalism schools. Uh, it's something I teach in my classes actually this week. So it fell right in my lap. Hmm. Uh, so there's a lot of things to look for. And Mike, I'm curious when you're looking at these tweaks and these differences, does it feel like something an amateur would do or would it be the work of a, a professional from what you're seeing? Amateurs can do it. Uh, if you're handy with Photoshop or can uh, read a Photoshop trimmer, uh, there are trimmers all over uh, YouTube. You can learn to do this in five, 10 minutes. Um, we're actually doing it all the time every time we play with an Instagram filter as well. So the Instagram filters are a way of editing uh, too. It's altering images. Uh, you guys showed that lovely Porsche photo about four or five minutes ago. <laughs> um, the color balance on that last beauty shot of that Porsche had been altered quite a bit in Photoshop. So anybody can do this uh, and, and share the images. Uh, we're looking at them every day and may not even realize it. Hmm. You have to look very, very closely. There are tools out there that can help you with that, both with images, photos, or images and uh, video, also audio as well. Helping us be a better news consumer. Mike Riley, yes. journalist and UIC senior lecturer. Thanks so much for spending some time with us today. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Mike. My pleasure. Thank you.